go to see Jerry Roberts at the back who worked with him and, and w w this is really cool. And I did, I came up with some ideas. I sat for, for again, I could see it up here, walked up to Bob Proctor at that seminar, shook his hand, said, thank you for inspiring me, you've changed my life. And I showed him my idea. And guess what he said to me? Gee, this is really cool. Go to the back there and speak to Jerry Roberts. That's a true story. That is a true story. And uh, so our mentors, the people that are inspire us, are so powerful. And there's three most important things in your life. A person, a book, and a place. If you get those three together, it can, it, it's why, incredible. Why right, I'll tell you why. I'm, I'm, that's a brilliant question. Bob, Bob Proctor speaks with in incredible integrity. Um, there's, there's, there's some, there's a, as a teacher myself, I know when I used to teach a class of children, and, and Jamal will, will vouch for this, when they used to come in on that first day, they meet you, those children will tell their parents within one hour whether they are for you or against you, whether they believe you or whether they're going to walk away, within one hour. So how do you do that? Well, you... you, you <laughs> You speak to them, you'd, 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 share your, you'd open your heart out and say, you know, oh, you know, oh, yeah, I like you. Like children want to be liked and they want to feel that they can believe in you. It's a very, very skilled thing. Bob does that. He, he speaks with integrity and you, and you just listen to the guy. Now, everybody has different people to listen to. Some people like to be shaken, but Bob just, there's, there's something there. That it's that ability. And again, it's another aspect of being self-actualized where, you, where you're able to share a bit of vulnerability, honesty, but you think, yeah, he, he, he speaks from his heart. So that's something which I think is very powerful. So that's the reason I, I, Bob, I love this quote by James Allen. An ideal is an idea that you have fallen in love with. So I took my idea down. OK, so I love this slide because what we're going to do now is we're just going to go below the surface a little bit now. We're just going to dig down a bit, OK? Because we've talked a lot of promises about life and vision and being self-actualized and making things happen. But to do that, you just need to go below the surface a little bit and just start to dig down. So let's start with you. Now, this is some interesting statistics that have come out. Mike and I love talking about recent research and statistics. If you're on social media, such as Facebook, all the time, you're 40% more likely to be unhappy and you're 50% more likely to be stressed. 75% of children in schools that have been asked now, is education serving you, are saying no. 75%. And I went to a company opening in Leeds last week, a Canadian company, Bob's Canadian, and uh, the panel there was saying, and I was the only teacher sat there, ironically, because I've given up teaching full time, I had the privilege to be there. All oh, the other teachers, of course, are in school, that institution. 75% saying it's just not serving us. So we have to start asking a question. We have to start thinking now about, about, let's start with you. Wouldn't it make sense that when children come into school, the first thing you do is tell them about how amazing they are, the power they've got inside. I cannot, and that's one of the reasons I gave up my job full-time teaching, because I thought there's a calling now, and I've got to follow that call now to start to get this message out. I can't do it within the institution. Um, for whatever reasons, it's, it's how it is. So let's start with you. Okay, so. Fundamentally, we are spiritual beings. Okay, inside us, there's a spirit. And what do I mean by that? Well, you hear people say, oh, Liz, she was the life and spirit of the party. Or, you know, you know that person, they were, they were the spirit. Or you might hear a musician say, oh, you know, I was writing a song and I got really inspired, enthusiastic. When enthusiasm comes from an entheos to be infused with spirit, there was spirit, my spirit came up. We're spiritual beings and that's what we are. So we start from that premise. Bob Proctor says, most people think they're physical beings having a spiritual experience. They're not. They're spiritual beings having a physical experience, which I absolutely love. Now, if we can accept that, we can move on. We're spiritual beings. We, we can feel it. You just know that. And that, the great artist will tell you that. Van Gogh said, I dream my painting, and then I paint my dream. We are, that's what we are. So we start from that premise, and that kind of gets over that first hurdle. 